Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry, I'm a, a couple minutes late, technically. Um, my camera decided it wasn't going to work, and I had to sit and fight with it to get it to work. But it's working now, so... Um, I also want to give you guys a heads up that I'm experiencing pain today. I mean, I experience pain every day. But it's a little higher than usual. Um, we finally caught a break from the heat wave we've been riding for so long. And my body is like, hey, we uh, adjusted to the heat wave. Now we have to adjust to this. And it hurts. And it's only false fall. So we're going to get back into the heat wave. Because it's August. And August is hot as balls in Tennessee. Every time. So yeah, um, if you see me wincing or, you know, just kind of doubling over, um, I may be reacting to the game. I may be in pain. I'm sorry. I just wanted to give you guys a warning up front because I know seeing people in pain can make some people uncomfy. I get it. I understand. I ain't mad about it. Now, when we last left off, I fucked up this fight so many times. And I realized after I ended stream... Oh shit, I can just go pull him off the dais and then he can fight with me. I don't have to try to stop the ritual to save him. I can save him and then stop the ritual. Order of events is important, apparently. So, we've got all of our Zamobis. We've got us. We've got Scratch. I'm going to try to remember to turn on Demon Spirit Aura. I don't want to turn it on before we get into combat because Scratch might try to kill us. So, I wish there was a way to up Scratch's health, though. He's only got 10 hit points. Why are you only level 1? Is there a way for me to level you up, Scratch? Because I would like to do that. Can I Tita inspect? Well, um, it said no. Um, but if there's a way to level... Scratch up, or even the, um, Conjured Spider, that'd be cool. But basically, their their role is to take targeting away from us, to give more targets than just us, is my, my thinking there. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Swift as my feet can carry me. I do love this dress that I've put her in, though. I may dye it when we go back to camp after this. Hey, shithead. Go ahead and let this all play out again, since it's been a week. Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. We're just... Not... I'm not gonna interview. You've never forgiven I've done, like, anything. all of the fucking... Every mistake, every slip was punished. Actually, I don't think I've ever, interve I've ever interviewed... Ever intervened on that part. In all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me. Careful, Astarian, don't lose your Do head. Do the cattle not know you, boy? Have they not seen your fits of temper? You son of a bitch. Too much wind up. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. Okay, so I need to beeline it for a starian. But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I 
will ascend. Yeah, well, today I know what the fuck I'm doing, so... Nikki. Except not. Yeah, the getting of the out part. Let's do that part first. Alrighty, so right off the bat, we've got the Deva. We can't really get in range just yet, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can get him on a dais. There we go. There's one. You don't have range though, which is why I didn't want to put you on a dais. But it's a starion is here. Yeah, I'm coming for you, honey. Ow. Oh, Scratch is gone, and so are three of my zombies. I didn't even get a chance to turn on my fucking... Kazzy's using them to suck the power right out of those poor fuckers. That, does that set yourself on fire to gain heat? Yep, let's do it. Come at me, bitch. Toggleable passive. Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Sweet. Okay. Get our guardians in place. Deals an additional 1d8 damage per level. So. Three d8s, four d8s if I'm reading this correctly. Or I can do five d8s. Why not? There we go. Okay. I'm working. Cool. There went the bats. Good, good, good. There goes more. Okay, so. Of course, if I hadn't run toward you to attack you, I probably could have. Where summoned creature has resistance to all damage except psychic. 
So I'm going to turn that on. Um, none of y'all are in range currently. Where are my... I have one ghoul left. Where is my ghoul? Oh, well, this is a problem. Opportunity attack. Oh, beautiful. You've put my Deva in range of you. Okay, we're gonna move you up here. I'm gonna have you help Carlac. I mean, you can jump to there. Can I get you to jump to here? I mean, I'll take it. I will certainly take it. Because that means I have four resources. Four of the seven. And if I can get a star in. Don't know why. I, oh, never mind. I figured it out. I mean, that's fine. He's asleep on the dais, so. Didn't realize he was right there. Opportunity attack. Ow. Okay. Sacred Flame, 424, 324. Where was that? There was a bigger one. No. That one. Yes. We'll do that. <laughs> Beautifully done, sweetheart. Now, that is not far enough to help Carlac, so we're going to go ahead and summon. over here to assist. Move, move back this way, dear. Okay, move. There you go. Oh, am I hurting you? God, I hope I'm not hurting you. Sorry. Opportunity attack. You're running away from me, so that makes getting to Astarian easier. I'm pressing the wrong keys, which is why I can't turn the camera. Oh, you came back. 
Well. Okay. You're gonna stay there. Um, why didn't I get to take my turn? Okay, well that's taken care of. You get... Okay. Ow. Opportunity attack. Okay. Uh, first things first. Karlak. Okay, so then, with your bow... Okay. Beautifully done, Karlak. Let's get you a little more centered. Thank you. That's right. I have this. You've been in better shape. I don't know if that helped or not. I don't know if that helped. I hope it helped. Okay. So next is Brielle. What do you mean? Fine, I'm at least getting to him. Very well. You know what? I'm gonna stand on that until I can grab him. Can't use actions, nauseous. Okay, well. Target is too far. Well, let's see if we can at least move you closer. You stay where you are. Lucky. Ow. You have nothing to attack where you are. Oh, but you can help. Oh, I didn't realize. Fuck. Well, that would have been nice to know. God damn it. Okay. I'm safe scumming. I don't care. I do not care. Because I'm, no, like, I know what to do. I got to him as quick as I could. I guess I could have 
flown my deva to him and done that. I didn't realize it could help people get up. I knew it could do revivify. Didn't know it could help people up. So maybe fly directly to Astarian, pull him off. Like, I know what I need to do. My brain is just, I, I'm not doing it fast enough, is the problem. Uh, excuse me. You know what? We'll get a little closer. Okay. Save. Because if I can protect my summoned creatures from all damage except psychic. And that's exactly what I was afraid of. Where do I go from here? Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. But it does give me the opportunity. Not enough resources. Provokes an attack of opportunity. Scratch is usually, yeah. Scratch is the one who usually fucking fails, so. Just move down. Oh, I don't want you to take damage before we even hit. Heading there. No, don't. Oh, you bastard. Because I can't control them. I don't want them to attack Scratch. Right. Let's go. Another step forward. See? It's fine. It's fine. Who stands before us? Do not slap. Look at you. Crop. Forgive me. Every mess. No. 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 They told me. Oh, thankless trial. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. But today... No. Yeah, I'm working on it, honey. Witness the... Okay, so, like I said, you always go first for some reason. Okay, but that should. Cool. 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 Us. Scratch didn't survive again. Stay focused. 
I think the three is enough. I like having her there because there's already four enemies, so she can kind of mitigate that. Got him. I got you, honey. All right. I'm so happy with myself right now. How? <laughs> Astarian! How the fuck did you just do that? How did you just mit miss on a bat? Honey. Provokes an attack of a- oh, because of that fucking thing. I don't want to waste my flourish on it. But I got a Starion, so. How did Boyle just send me a snap? broke his phone this morning. <laughs> I was confused because somehow he managed to send me a message on Snapchat. No, not my spirit guardians! Get up here. Okay, so. Forty-nine, eighty-five. 85 is looking like my best bet. Boop! And then I have no control over the ghoulies. What are you... I don't know what the point of that was. Boy, do I need some health. Oh well, yeah, I still have a starring spider. I am trying. So long as she stays on there. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. Thank 
centuries. Have I not suffered yet? Wait for it to roll its initiative. You're really far back there. I don't suppose that you can jump. So close. So close. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Oh, I already used shit. Uh oh. You know, guys, it would be really helpful if you would help Karlak. I'm just, I'm just saying. It'd be helpful. Or if, you know, somebody could help, um,. Got a heart? That'd be great too. Seventy five, seventy five, forty, twenty three. Let's take that one out. And then. Okay, well, starting to go into that one. I'm going to put you here. Okay, well, you're... I was trying to get him in the circle with the Deva. Oh no. There went the spider. I'm I'm trying to help. Carlac just woke up. Okay. There. I am trying. Sorry, you can get up here.
Do it anyway. Ghoulies. Whoo! Ow. Okay. I need. Oh shit. Something just happened. And your concentration's broken again! is doing pretty well health wise um shadow heart not so much paralyzed so i can't do anything with you oh yes i can You fly. Okay. Push the bat? I can. I'm working on it, honey. Okay. Oh, you had three of those. No? Okay. Just to get you out of my way. Knocked out! Okay, well, passives are not. Why did you knock out the bat? You killed that one, but you knocked that one out. Oop. 
Boop. 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 31. And you missed. Yeah. You got good help though. Ouch. Shadow heart. You're doing good. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, I tried. Skeleton zombie. Oh, but they're not close enough. Never mind. Oh, come on. Now. Good job, us. Okay. Boy, you don't fly very far. Q. 
sec. Well, yeah. You're just gonna have to stay there. Uh oh. What's this one? Need to learn the hard way. Oh shit. Well, I didn't expect you to hop off. Get back up here. I just realized I've been really quiet. I was really in the zone. Sorry about that. I'm just, I'm very focused. Ah, oh, shit. I can't quite target him from there. Oh, shit. What do you mean, not enough space? Level 4, call forth Divine Guardian that attacks nearby enemies every time it deals damage. Shit. <laughs> I could have been using that for a while now. There we go. Shadow Hearts looking good. Can you feed on him? Can't target undead. Well, that's unfortunate. But I can do this. Oh, he's a withering cut again. Bitch. Survival is all that matters. Okay. Ah, I can't do that anymore. Um four two. Well, I don't need to go too hard. <laughs> oh, I can't do any more psychic damage. Range damage, um, which is unfortunate. Available next turn. Okay. Cazador is almost dead. Fuck off. Oh, that problem solved. Cazador is dead! All that's left... Oh god, all that's left are the little bats. The little batsies. What's it gonna take? It has one hit point. Thank you, dear. What should I do? Can you feel death's cold grip? Nothing will stand in my 
away. Where's this last path? Oh, okay. Hello, dear. Whoops! I need to turn that off. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, we're good. Not now! Not when Cazador's finally mine! Hurry to his coffin! It's time to end this. No traps, please. There it goes. No, no, no healing sleep for you. Wake up! Get him, Astarian. Get your hands off me, worm. <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. And then? What will you be without me? A shade? A spectre in the shadow? Devoid of all purpose? Kill him already. Fine. But I'm not above enjoying this. Enjoy it. By all means, my dear. Enjoy it. And this is what we call a crime of passion. Remove the head, make sure he's dead. Make sure he stays dead. Oh, honey. You're free. You can do whatever you want. What do you want it to mean? That depends. Can you keep? What do you want it to mean? I. I don't know. Your choices are simple, Rene. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites, or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course, but the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Now, that's a better question. 7,000 spawn from ancient conquests to stolen children. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. What do you want? They deserve the same chance you got. 7,000 Astarians unleashed on the Sword Coast. It'll be a well-dressed flood of mayhem, at least. The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here.
He wanted to complete the ritual so badly, and I don't think we're getting the option to do that. But 7,000 spawn... Um... That's a pretty big army. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. Because that's going to be a pretty big army against the Absolute. Ah. Uh. I... I think we're done here. Let's go. That's it. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. It didn't really even give me the option. Oh, well, I guess if I had selected kill them. How does it feel? I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I... Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. That's fair. Um... Whoa. Okay. Um, so... If I had selected kill them, it probably would have completed the ritual. Which I kind of regret not doing for him. Uh, we found Casador, who overpowered Astarian, dragged him into the ritual. Now that Casador has everything he needs, he'll ascend unless we stop him. We defeated Casador, who retreated to his sarcophagus to heal. He's vulnerable now. All we have to do is open the sarcophagus's lid and finish him off. We killed Casador and released all the vampire spawn into the Underdark. Astarian's fate is sealed. He will be a vampire spawn until the end of days. Investigate Cazador's palace. We defeated Cazador and released his prisoners. We should tell Oma the good news. Okay, well, um... Why did we... Astarian, why did you knock out the one bat? Like... What? Alright, where did the woe go? There it is. Let's get on with it. Well, hello. Hello. I'm just going to send it back to camp then because that doesn't seem to be super useful at this time. Can I fast travel our way out of here? No. I will save the game, however. I was going to let him ascend... But an army of 7,000 vampire spawn will probably be super useful against the Absolute. So, um, real quick, let's loot some shit. If you insist. I'm still on Carlac. Looking ahead. Let's have a look. Oh. 
I could do without the grunting, Deva. So much grunting. All right. I'm going to loot this stuff. And then, uh... Send to camp. I don't really need it, but I will send it to camp just to be safe. With the grunting, Deva. But yeah, um, I don't know why we just knocked out that bam. That bat. That bam? Brain work good. But as I was saying, we're gonna loot this stuff. And then we'll head back to camp. And then. I'm going to take a stretch break. Okay. I think we've looted everything. So let's GTFO. Oh, but there's all these stairs. What do these stairs go to? I'm curious. Moving ahead. Nothing. Got it. Okay. Come on. Vampires before Veloth. Our illustrious predecessors, brief notes on the succession of master vampires in Baldur's Gate by Lady Incognita. All dates, Dale Reckoning. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that was a hearty waste of time. My dress is all dirty now. Like, because of the way she runs, it looks like the dress is all torn up and stuff. Oma! You killed one vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? No! They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them... No, they include your children. They... Oh, they survived? Well, that depends on how you define survived, really. But they are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. 
Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Cazador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. Yeah, because we are going to need all the help we can get for... Yeah, gather your allies. Uh, the Gur people are grateful for our role in taking down Cazador Sar. Uh, we are sure to have them by our side, come what may. Um, but I think if Astarian asked the spawn that are now in the Underdark to fight alongside us against the Absolute, aside from the children, I think they would agree and be of help. I pray the spawn will stay in the Underdark. We will show no mercy if they return here. They are your kids. If you think those spawn will stay in the Underdark, you're a fool. We'll see them soon. Mark my words. Well, the Underdark just got quite a uh, population overhaul, so... You could have killed them all. You could have ended Zar's legacy today. You could have also killed your children. I don't know what to think. I wanted to see our children again, but not like this. Never like this. Yeah, I feel that. I will find my little ones. Wherever they are hiding. We will see what can be done. I like his, I like his, his way of looking at it. Thousands of vampires spawn on the run. Our own children among them. I only pray something of their innocence remains. Yeah, me too. Me too. You let thousands of vampires spawn go free. How many will die because you could not do what needed to be done? Anyone capable of killing a vampire as powerful as Cazador has my respect. But you are not a true hunter. Sparing the spawns was an error. Releasing them was an act of madness. Yeah, I suppose I could have left them here. Cast. All right. Whew. Hey, I'm all... I'm not all clean. For a second, I looked all clean. And then I zoomed in and realized I am not all clean. Um, anywho. We are going to take our stretch break now, and I will be back momentarily. Immediately notices the step here tags. And just, as soon as we're in the door, books it for the first one he sees. Tegan takes off running after him, telling him to come back and he's got to stay with us. Hayden hits the pad, keeps going. Tegan is still running after him. The spider launches up and just knocks Tegan's ass on the ground. He <laughs> fucking scared the shit out of me. Protect me, Lupa! Hi. There's a uh, bracken back that way, and a loop bug scared the shit out of me, and I threw a clown horn at it. Get off the counter! Get off the counter! Get off the counter! Go! Come on. Okay, bye. Did anybody else see that? 
be up here. Jesus, I didn't. Blunder boy. Oh, yeah. Well, he fell, so. My flat. How did he's come? Well, he missed. Oh. Uh, he didn't miss me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, he he went Whoa. over the railing. I don't think he we're gonna have to go. worry about him. Oh. Shit, I think he did. Are you alive down there? I, I think you're dead. Go. Nope, he's moving. I don't know where we go on this map. Uh, no. I don't think you really buy anything. Emote. Do you? Wait. You Do might you emote. Anything? That's what this order here thing is. Your Starbucks menu. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> where the uh, fuck did you come thing. from? <laughs> uh, up. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Being a creeper? <laughs> um, well, the bed is the absolute worst place to be. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Camera's. <laughs> that whole maneuver was on camera. Well, this spot I was didn't... supposed to be filled by grids, but. Oh, I just realized I'm playing this by myself. <laughs> you're, you're playing with yourself. You're playing with yourself. Man, I'm playing, playing with, with myself. myself. <laughs> it's a thumper. <laughs> oh. Um. Well. The thumper just blew up on a landmine, and I think Chaos did too. Okay, well, um, the 11% film, so you may need to film a little bit of stuff. Um, you know, pointing at the, the turret dog. Uh, if one of us dies, record it. Um, let's just try to stay ahead of that so it doesn't shoot us. Oh god. Still with me. <laughs> oh, fuck nuggets! Funny story about kombucha. So, back when I worked at the pet store, I was an opening manager. And one of my high school classmates is one of All right, I am back. And I'm gonna raid the chest for die, because I want to change the color of this dress. It's cute! But yeah, I don't like the color. Wee. Okay, let's see. We've got black and azure. Black and Summer Green, Cobalt, Dye Remover, Muddy Red, Muddy Red, Muddy Red, Ocean, Pink and Leaf Green, Purple, and White and Scarlet. Mmm, okay. Um, how about... Kind of like ocean. I didn't mean to take it all. Did I take my shoes off? I did take my shoes off. When did I take my shoes off? Because I was planning to take my shoes off. Combine. Please be pretty. I mean, it's not bad. I'll take it. I am curious what the muddy red would look like. Because, you know, I've got a bunch of stacks of the muddy red. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, but the red looks kind of badass with the hair. I don't know. 
Is that too much red? Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to keep the red for now. Too much of a turn. There we go. Okay. Excuse me while I grab a picture for another thumbnail. Because I like to keep my thumbnails up to date. Go talk to a Starian. How are we feeling? You again. Hey, don't be like that. Oh, okay, we can't. Okay. We ain't talking about it. A good thing back there. I won't dwell on the matter. I know that's not a sentiment you're accustomed to reveling in, but rest assured, your actions have spoken for themselves. The fuck you mean by that? What does he mean by that? I'm so confused. <sighs> He'd hate to hear me say this, but I'm so fucking proud of Astarian. He could have had it all, but he kept his soul instead. Wasn't sure he had it in him, but he's changed so much, overcome so much darkness. Oh, I could smooch that pointy little face. <laughs> Asarian chose right, and any well trained Githyanki would have chosen the same. We seek might not for individual power, but for the good of the collective. I may no longer serve Flakith, but I still attend to a collective. The allies of the Prince of the Comet. And, of course, the one we've made for ourselves. To seek power for personal glory alone is a farce. Astarian was wise to see it. Anything to say, Volo? Whatever happens next, be sure. That I will document it all as accurately as possible. Why do I feel like you're not? How good to see you. Come for a chat. I I don't care if she's here. Like it doesn't bother me. So Astarian didn't fulfill his master's ambitions for himself. At least that means he's his own man. Though, I'm a little surprised he didn't covet those powers. Oh, he did. He certainly did. Astarian showed restraint where most others wouldn't. He might not appreciate the sentiment, but I'm proud of him. They say that the only thing a vampire can feel is hunger. Nothing else touches them. Not grief or mercy. Or any sense of what is just. Who knows? And there is often more ignorance than insight in what they say. To forswear the strength of 7,000 souls, that is an act of true strength, says Boo. Astarian may borrow Minsk's muscles whenever he is needful. Brave, 
powerful, puny Astarian. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> he might try to kill you, dude. All right. Yes. Oh, Astarian has something to say now. hear Cazador's voice again knowing it'll never command me to bow against my will I'm free from him forever do you regret turning down all that power <laughs> perhaps it would have been terrible fun but then again <laughs> I could feel something slipping away. I came so close to losing myself, losing everything I've learned since meeting you. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it, <laughs> just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. Of course. You saved yourself. I just gave you a bush. I wasn't sure if you'd stop the ritual or not, honestly. I was, uh, I, I, you saved yourself. I just gave you a bush. You did more than that. You believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> When I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. Can we talk about some more? What do you need now? Hey, don't be so grumpy. Nope, we cannot. Ooh, anybody else have anything to say? What's on your mind? I don't know how to progress your story any further. Currently. I know I need to kill... Hey, soldier. I forgot his name. Is something burdening you? The fact that I can't remember the fucking guy's name that we're supposed to kill? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, let's just go ahead and end the day. Then, because I think everyone is done speaking. Go to bed. Time to rest. Um. What is his name? I keep wanting to call him Ganon. It's not Ganon. My God. Fucking. What the fuck is his name? Think of his fucking name.
my god what is his name Gortash Jesus Christ my brain was just not processing that Bless you, Ame. Oh, Scratch has something for us. Let's move. What's up, Scratch? The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What you got there? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. An iron bowl. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. That. You're such a good boy. Thanks, buddy. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Good cup. More. I love this dress, but I feel like it's a little glitchy. Okay, so. The Starian story is over. So, I think I'll have him stay at camp for now. You again. Darling. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. Me too. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. Okay, whose story do I need to work on? Gail met with Mistra in the Outer Plane. She told him of the true nature of the orb, that it is the Carsite Weave, a half-formed magic created by Carsus. When he sought to become the god of magic, Mistra asked that Gail seize the crown and then return it to her in exchange for which she will rid him of the orb. Claim the crown for himself, though, and the Carsite Weave would answer to him. Okay. We defeated Kithrak Voss against Lazel's wishes, but her mission remains unchanged. We must find a way to enter the artifact and use the hammer to break Orpheus free. Okay. Discover a book about the dragon of Ansur. After reading the legend of Ansur, we discovered the great worm. Okay, so why don't we grab Will? And go free Ansior, because we haven't done that yet. Still breathing, despite everything. Will probably needs to be leveled up. Let's talk. That's the spirit. No level up? It's been a while since you've been with us. Okay, we're all level 12. Okay. Um. Boop. We'll just poof into worms crossing rock thing mm, coffee 
because, you know, at 1.30 in the afternoon, I still need to be drinking coffee. Coffee's good for inflammation. It helps. Little by little, it helps. Let's rehearse this Are one more time. Us? Pretend I'm a fist and, and tell me what you were doing in the house. Calm down, dear. Well, you it won't happen. Discover the great worm answer resides in a secret lair called the Worm Way. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within Worm's Rock Prison, and the notes inside hint that the that opening the way involves lightning sparks and torches. Okay. What my friend means to say is that the witness must Listen, have been no, mistaken. Hi, Ami. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump. Hang on. Okay, okay. I know you're trying to get. You were trying to get in the window, and I was trying to move stuff out of your way so you could get in the window. Put that there. There you go. The way is clear to the window. Time to press ahead. Okay, so, if I remember right, I perceived something over here, but I was baffled by what I perceived. Maybe I didn't. I don't, I don't know. Don't mind me just cheating and trying to scroll through the walls to see if I can find the hidden room. God, I can't see shit. I? I did not. Let's go over here. Oh shit, does anybody have lightning? Okay, well. Secret passageway. Oh, there's hi, Otto. Oh, for Boulderan's sake, leave an old man in peace. Okay, just wanted to see if you knew anything about anything. Anything of use? 
killed all the guards, so. I mean, I don't need, well. As you can see, I killed all of the guards. Nope. Didn't want you to close it. I wanted you to go through it. There's something in here that we didn't perceive. You know, this giant hole in the wall might be something to look at. No? It's not? Thought for sure it would be. I had to guess, I'd say this is a fucking door of some sort. Ow, Ame. Didn't actually hurt, it just... This looks like it would be a door. When you look at it from the other side, this is very clearly a door. Can't give up now. Oh! Dragons. I see the dragons now. Okay. Get back. Um, everybody get back. Will. Um... Did I give him a lightning thingy? Apparently I didn't. Um. Does anybody have, have stayed interesting? Lightning. Clearly, I thought this through. What's next? Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I might have to go back to camp and grab Gale. Soldier. Because I the pride of the gate. Don't seem to have given you any lightning abilities. Air, earth, fire, water, yeah, I don't think any of those can do electric. Oh, well you can shock.
Okay, well that didn't do it. Um, Never a dull moment. Mine. Very well. So I really not have any electric abilities, like. Okay. Wits and blades always sharp. Time to meet your maker. Nailed it. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I figured it out. It's One fine. I'll catch a break. Figured it out, guys. I got it. I may please stop rubbing your head on my hand, please. It makes it really difficult for me to proceed. I'm way too big. Okay, so now that I can actually look at it, does it it wants gaseous form? I don't have gaseous form. Can I send you up it? Can you go up it? Oh, never mind. It's All's just well another is. way to get down here. It's not All important. As bad as it could have. I mean, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but you're, like, making What's things a lot more difficult than they need to be. I don't I think I can go down there. Pale orange dye, we'll send that to camp. I'll take the gold. Like, I am sorry for yelling at you, bud, but you can't be doing that. I'm, like, trying to click on stuff. On my way. You're cute, and I love you, but... You make it difficult when you move the mouse and I'm trying to do stuff. That's a skeleton. It's a useless skeleton. Or you can kick me in the boob. Shot. I love you. I'm sorry for yelling at you, bud. Journal updated. We've reached the wormway where the great worm Ansir resides. We must make our way to him. Okay. Hey! Journal of Past Adventures number one. The Worm's Lair. Incredible. The legends were true, and we've marked our place among them. We'll prove our worth with unrusted swords and meet the dragon. A good dragon. Or so we pray. Gods bless our endeavor. Boulderon and his winged ally admiring the fruits of their labor. The city itself. Boulderon sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over his city. Do the histories make mention of this? Yeah, well, do the histories make mention of this? You got anything to say? Let's talk. No, you do not. The 
statue before oh, me bears a familiar likeness. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The Palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the Grand Worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain drown in torment? Alright, I am sorry about that, everyone. Um, our power went out again. Um, no clue why it went out. It just suddenly went out. Um, and I had to wait for our Wi-Fi to come back. So, we are back. Thankfully, it had just saved before that happened. So, that's good. Alright. Hi, Kirito. Okay, so let's do Seems this again. No one back is that? Balderon with a bronze dragon. Must have been quite an adventure. We'll do these again real quick. Balderon and his winged ally admiring the fruits of their labor. The city itself. Balderon sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over a city. Oh, they're fireflies. Okay. Do the histories make mention of this? Probably not. Some. Yeah. I might not believe Statue it. Statue before you. Okay, so this is about where we were when the power went out. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The Palisades fall. The earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the Grand Worm. Deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain dream ah, may. torment. You need to stop. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no savior. Shut up. Examine the statue. I'm gonna add a bonus because my intelligence is low, apparently. Ouch! That didn't help. I got one inspiration. I'ma use it. Oh, good. Just barely. I make you're you making it very difficult. No spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. I am worthy. Open Ancient the way. Answer. Hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Good. Good. More tests. Great. Thank you for saving. I appreciate it. Breathe deep and move. Incredible. Oh. How old is this place? I don't think I need to pick up any more stuff. Um. Routed. Well, I see you. I don't know what you are, but I see you. Always go to the right first. I mean, you're you. Using my mouse pad as a bed makes it very difficult for me to move my mouse. Chamber of Courage. What say you? A champion burns bright. Even when rushing waters 
and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. Take the torch, okay. What are we doing with it? I see. I mean, please stop. Absorb. You get one in it. That's fine. <laughs> Incoming. Oh, I didn't even wait, that's ours. Never mind. We're good. That's ours. Two, three, four. You're the closest, so I want you to. Well, almost. I might, you're pulling out my headphones. Okay, listen. You're going to have to go in the basket. Because where you're laying currently is very problematic. I love you. But you are making things much more difficult than they need to be. No way I can see where things are because I'm struggling. I've got light radiating off the, um, or bouncing off the white wall outside the window. It makes it hard for me to see. Didn't see that thing. Um, everybody's health looks good currently, so. I 
it can apparently do something to that, and I don't know what or why. I don't know if there's a reason for me to attack this. Something tells me I should. It's apparently a waste. Well, I like knocking things back. That didn't do much at all. We seem to be surrounded. Um, Ah, you're silenced. He 
can at least move closer. Now you're outside of the raging vortex. Opportunity attack. Okay. Go miss. Good, good job. Good job. There we go. Two of you are now in spirit guardians. Ready for another round. Good way to hit two at once. Yeah, I don't think they were gonna have anything. Oh, you're not even hurting it. You are water. Today, cool, you got electrocuted. said he was stoned for a second. <laughs> cool. Oh, it said something, but I didn't see what it said. Your courage is a beacon to meek and mighty alike. May you ever withstand the raging elements. Proceed. Ame is now using my other hand as a pillow and is putting my hand to sleep. Okay. Slow down. No, can't talk to you. Here we go. Ah. Horns, king, queen. Is this an sport? I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> I 
Do I have to play chess? Death won't take me. Cool, now it doesn't want to take any damage. It says no. It is very hell to the no on me right now. No. Chamber of Strategy. I don't know how to play chess. What the fuck nuggets is this bullshit? Play chess. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule: the Dark King must fall in two moves. Oh my God! I... Are you a commander of armies or a shivering pawn, fodder for cleverer minds? I'm afraid I have little experience with lance board, let alone the command of soldiers. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what piece is what. I, I could not. I'm guessing pawn. Oh, well, it tells me. Cool. Oh, hey. Hang on. I want to go back. Let's go back real quick. Walk over here. And jump, bitch. I missed number two. Oh, I saw it. There it is. That's number four. I. That's not what I wanted to do, Brielle. Read. A lance board trial, a bloody lance board trial, and the ground shakes, crystals fall, and I can hear the rustling of metal against rust. If this is the end, let this be my record. We must run. So that was number four. I've read one and four now. Why the one about a lance board was in here, I don't know. I'm going to skip the lance board for now because I have no clue how to do that. So I'm assuming that's where we go last. So let's go this way. Hey, there's number two. I would like to read that, please. Paintings hung on the wall. Almost like an art gallery. I hadn't expected puzzles. Is the great worm really hidden behind tests of this kind? I expected feats of strength, yes, but nothing like this. Like, it was designed for sport. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Justice. No pardon without repentance. 
and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Is that a general aphorism of yours, or are you trying to be helpful? Um, thanks, thanks for, indeed. for the words. No, I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. Okay, that doesn't tell me what to do here. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. Where'd you get red hair from? He's wearing a hat. Market, the wide, where Baldur's wow. Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. Okay. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, okay. giving an apple to a smiling urchin. So he stole the apple and gave it to the child. All other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. And what's this up here? What what is what is that? I'm not gonna talk about that. Let's move. The theft. A red haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders. Thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. Well, what am I to do? The theft. A red, it's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. Oh, good to know. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. The chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. There were two cloaked women in that one, but one was more in shadow than the other. Let's see what this does. The Judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Okay. I have to keep going. And I am to do what? Well, it did something. No time to rest. The 
shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Ah, the Who judge. Behold, the paintings tell the tale. My judgment is rendered. The thief earns his due. I'm confused. Well, my two ideas have failed so far. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Thought for sure that using daylight. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. I'm confused. Not as bad as it could have. How am I supposed to unshroud these? Better not be cursed. I read this. Will. This place is astonishing. A bard's legend made real. I'm so confused. On my way. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Yeah, I thought casting daylight would fit. What is going? What is going on here? What? What? Where's my weapon? I don't know. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. No, that ain't working either. I don't understand. No, the judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. Okay, but I don't understand what y'all want me to do. Cleanse the world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous. But do not let such cleansing prevent justice. I don't know what you want me to fucking do! Like, there's writing up here above this. But there's no writing above these. I tried casting daylight. It said no. I don't understand what you want me to do. Like these things have stayed interesting. I don't get it. You want me to to put something here 
but I don't know what you want me to put there. I can't see these. I don't know how to unshroud them. Fuck it, Google. Because I ain't fucking around with this. The paintings in the room tell a story of a criminal, and the player must prove their sense of justice by choosing the right punishment for their crimes. However, the paintings that display the punishments in the center of the room are wreathed in a kind of cursed shadow, preventing them from being picked up. Players can examine them to see basic description, but they can't interact with them. The simplest way to cleanse these paint paintings is to use Remove Curse on the judge. Okay. Wits and blades always sharp. That's. Can you not, please? I am trying to see what I am doing, and y'all want to make it. Stop! Get your ass out of my face! Thank you. Like, trying to read this stuff, and you're putting your ass directly in my face. I know you have removed curse. Where's Remove Curse? I, I gave you Remove Curse. Because I, I know I gave it to you because I used it on myself. Where the fuck is it? I gave you remove curse. There's remove curse. Okay. There we go. I'm like, I know I gave it to you. There we go. Still breathing, despite everything. The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood, and a golden coin in his hand. A thief walks free. Is this truly justice? Here goes nothing. Well, that definitely. The hanging. 
A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. Yeah. In the middle of two a extremes. Cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Principle of the sentence being proportional to the crime. Or you are a paragon of justice. Um proceed. Thanks, cool. Google, come back here because I don't the uh the the Lant Lance? What was it? Lance board. There we go. Because I, I don't know how to play chess. Um, let alone how to finish it in two fucking turns. That's not going to happen. Um, so I found one, two, and four. I have no idea. Okay, that means nothing to me. That is not going to help. That me I oh. Queen to H eight, Queen to D I don't that means nothing to me. I don't know how to, I need y'all to explain this to someone who doesn't know how to play chess at all. <laughs> I have never played chess in my life. I have no idea how to fucking do this. Zero clue. I do not know or even remotely understand chess. What are these? Hey, let's read those. Let's read that. Vidor and Umgiller are gone. Our hubris is evident. Elementals took us by surprise. There are still three of us for now. Okay. Um. So, it's... White king, pawn, pawn, pawn. So this is the rook? That's a bishop. This is, nope. I'm so confused. Move your rook in line with the black king. That's the white king. Pawn. 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 Bishop. Queen. We don't have a rook. So how am I supposed to move the rook? Move your rook in line. I don't have a rook, so obviously I can't fucking do that. Queen to telling me queen to h8 i i don't i don't know what that is that means absolutely nothing to me uh, if you have gale in your party he tells you the solution and marks k 
Excuse me. I'll be right back. Thank you very much. Hey, Gail. Come be fucking useful. Oh. All right, Carlac, sweetie. Maybe Love you. But I need Gail. Thought this place was just a legend. <laughs> Tall tales just keep coming true. I know. Isn't it wild? When did my the bracelets and stuff turn silver? They were gold when I dyed the dress. Sounds boring. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Girl. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead. I need I'm you. Listening. With pleasure. Lead on. Great. All right, Gail. Whatever ancient purpose is imbued in these halls, it may not welcome our presence here. We should be wary of whatever lurks beneath the dust. Mm, Gail, give me the answers. At the ready. The Dark King must fall in two moves. A leader succeeds. A pretender fails. Gail? G Gail? All right. What now? Okay, cool. Gail was supposed to give me the answer. Gail? Save before I do this. As you wish. Okay. I Very well. Listen, I I really really don't know how to do this. Curse to put my hands on everything. Like the dark king must fall in two moves. A leader succeeds, a pretender fails. Lance board happens to be a game with which I have more than a passing familiarity. Might I offer a suggestion? You can fucking do it for me! Go ahead, I'm listening. First, have the White Queen move all the way across and capture the Black Pawn. This leaves Black's King in check, forcing him to retreat a square left. Your Queen then takes the other pawn. One square up and left, always under the protection of her faithful bishop. Okay. So, we move her to here. Uh, is that not what he- he said to move all the- I moved all the way. Did you mean here?
Oh, Gale is pointing. Where is Gale? Because I don't fucking see him. Gale pointed at marble plate. Sir, I need you to be much more specific. I don't understand. Ugh, I don't understand. What you want me to do? Oh shit. Well, that's why I saved right there, because I don't I don't know chess. I was never taught how to play it. It means nothing to me. It means absolutely nothing to me. And I have no desire to learn how to play chess either. I I'm sorry, but I don't. Yes, of course. The Dark King must fall in. Yeah, I. What to do? I know. I meant to. The Dark King. Lance board happens to be a game with which I have more. First, have the White Queen move all the way across and capture the Black Pawn. This leaves Black's King in check, forcing him to retreat a square left. Your Queen then takes the other pawn. One square up and left, always under the protection of her faithful bishop. Okay. You said, move the white queen all the way across and take the pawn. I did that. It reset the fucking board. You also said that he would retreat left. Okay, yeah, that's correct. I don't understand. And then, when I click this, it, it gives me a notification saying, Gail pointed. Let's see. At what? Gail pointed at marble plate. Well, that's not the pawn. Gail, can you be more specific? Because there's a lot of marble plates here. Okay, so Gale is point. So I need. Okay. So I need to. Okay. I can't move it in front. Okay. And then Gale said. Oh, let me check. <laughs> I can't... I can't see the conversation? I would like to see the conversation. Can I... <laughs> this is so frustrating. When I click it, it so it wants me to go here. This is where Gail's pointing. Okay. I didn't see the light flash to know that that's what Gail was point that was Gail pointing. Light on my feet. I have no idea what you said. Let me. Ah, the Black King has fallen. May you crush. May you always crush the wicked, be they pawn, knight, or monarch. Proceed. Cool. 
this ends well. God, I hope so too, because I'm frustrated. Ha! Ow. Now, I see four statues. But I only saw three trials. And this is the direction we came in. So, am I missing anything? Because I feel like I am. Can't give up now. I don't want to do that again. I don't fucking chess. It means nothing to me. Now I gotta save a snap streak real quick. That's weird. Okay, anywho, sorry about that. I just had to save a snap streak real quick. Prove your worth of heart. To what? So, I need to go down here, is what you're telling me? Like, oh, I see. It's a bridge. I see it now. leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Okay, well, I see these things here. What the fuck? Wait, hold, hold still. I want to read you. Did I... Did I... I apparently did. Read. The Virtues of Unions by Alwyn Stead. It is quite obvious that larger kingdoms offer benefits to all peoples within. As a kingdom grows, so does its fields, its populace, and its economy. A few charred corpses is a worthy sacrifice if a dragon offers to share its hoard, after all. So, so too should you seek union, however imperfect, should a powerful kingdom march its army on your borders. Some friction is inevitable, of course. Citizens' rights may erode, for instance, but such lesser issues will be sanded down by the march of time, such as the price of peace. Stop like in here somewhere. Ugh. Hold still, will you? I fucking feel that. Ugh. Hold still, will you? Well, it did stop for a second. Will you? 
Oh my god, it changed its pattern. I don't want to damage it. Boy, I'm struggling. And it changes pattern again. Ugh, How did I do it the first time? Like... Shouldn't shoot it. I'll just wait for it to come back. Oh my god, it's... <sighs> like, it has a steady pattern, but it keeps changing its pattern, too. Oh, fuck it. I don't care. I am so sorry if my mic is picking that up. Um, I bought a new vacuum bot, and it's awful. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe, crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common citizenry. Uh, thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teat while native Baldarians starve in the street. For far too long, for too long, the Grand Duke and his parliament of peers have left our gate unguarded. If you like us... Okay, I think I've read that before. Um, but yeah, like... It's, they, I got a defective one. They were supposed to send me a replacement for it. And they sent me the wrong model to replace the old one. So now I'm still waiting. eyewitness account. Though an official document, this appears to be one of many hastily produced copies documenting the night of Eltrune's descent into Avernus. Okay. Folly in the fall. Five year war. The War was, in truth, nothing short of a tragedy. It began as a mild altercation between the sanguine sons of the Elio and Vita families regarding, if you can believe it, the proper ownership of a sheep farm. Over the course of three seasons, full-blown conflict had erupted between Baldur's Gate and Victon. A pointless war leaving both cities with nothing but a thousand youthful corpses to show for it. The mortal view, eyewitness accounts of the Falspawn crisis. Actually, I should probably read that. I got sleight of hand the one time. Why? I, why I can't do it again, I don't know. Hold 
still, will you? Ugh. Hold still, will you? How did I get it before? Like, it was a complete accident that I got it. Okay. It seems to stop here at the bench. And now it goes all the way around. Ah! It keeps changing its pattern based on where I try to stand. Ugh. Hold still, will you? I can't even, like, get its title to appear. Ugh. Hold still, will you? I am trying to get it. It is not cooperating. Wow, I didn't even click at that time. I didn't click anything, apparently. I don't want to damage the book. Ugh. Hold still, will you? I don't know how I did it the first time. Ugh. Okay, Hold I'm still, not going to fuck you? with it. I give up. Although it's probably useful information. What's hiding here? Never a dull moment. Saloon's devotee. Well, Darian founds a city. Hold still, Wasn't you? even what I clicked. Uh, this text roots its subject on Baldarian. A uh, Baldarian, sorry, a sailor of exquisite renown who founded the city of Baldur's Gate many years ago. The prose is colorful, but a bit. But. A little too self-satisfied around the edges, and the novel would be unremarkable but for one small entry about halfway through. Baldurin claimed a guardian and friend, and friend, Ansior. Bright were Ansior's scales, and brighter still his breath. Yet after a betrayal too piercing to recount here in worthy detail, Ansior fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under to match his draconical lineage. The purged the late midwinter edition. Okay, that doesn't sound like it would be helpful. Ugh. Hold still, will you? I will call you back. Those books are gonna be important. Gonna call you back. Okay, so. I know I don't have old person on me. I don't know why I'm looking for it, because... Oh my god, I have one. I'm sorry, target must be humanoid. And that is exactly why I didn't want to do that, because now the book is fucking gone. And I can't read it. Cool. That was probably... I 
That's exactly why I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, it was stopped for a moment. Ugh. Hold still, will you? Ugh. Hold still, will you? No. I don't know how to catch this stupid thing. Um, I don't even know what this one... Uh-huh. Leading to a new problem. Throw a useless item from your inventory at these books or throw any book after examining it. Make sure you do not throw a weapon. What is a useless item? On my mind. And, well, in it. I wonder what the next move is. Still alive, so that's progress. I apologize that I'm looking stuff up because I know it pisses people off. But I don't have the patience. To try to figure this out currently. Come on. I love that it shows up in my items. Oh wait, it doesn't. I have to fucking go into my inventory every single time. Pick it up, please. Oh, this is tedious. I think it's like 50%. God damn it, I threw it too late though. Which was stupid on my part. Pick it up. Thank you.
Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Thank you. You you did not answer my question and I don't appreciate it. I I'm done caring. I I just I can't keep fucking trying on that cuz that's a pain in the ass. All right. Sulto a maps instead. Well, say first, we're going to trial and error this, starting from left to right, because I don't, I'm, I'm just going to brute force it, because I don't have the patience. Wow, was that easy? Okay, well, there's that. However, I think I'm going to have to end it here because I'm out of time and patience for the chicanery. An insightful decision, the tree of peace bore lasting fruit. Proceed. Okay, well. Oh. Where is... Was there another note? Because I didn't see a, a note from the... A... Well, guess what? We're ending it here. I need to clean up my saves. But... I'm going to call it here because it's a little after three for me. And I'm going to have to... Ooh, stitch these together since the power went out. Um, when we come back, we'll meet Ansir. Yay. Um, until then, I will see you guys later. And remember to do something nice for a stranger today. You just might save a life. Bye.